Hashtag Bible Challenge 365. Day 12. Genesis, Chapter 35. And God said unto Jacob, Arise, go up to Bethel, and dwell there. And make there an altar unto God, that appeared unto thee when thou fleddest from the face of Esau thy brother. Then Jacob said unto his household, and to all that were with him, Put away the strange gods that are among you, and be clean, and change your garments. And let us arise, and go up to Bethel. And I will make there an altar unto God, who answered me in the day of my distress, and was with me in the way which I went. And they gave unto Jacob all the strange gods which were in their hand, and all their earrings which were in their ears, and Jacob hid them under the oak which was by Shechem. And they journeyed, and the terror of God was upon the cities that were round about them, and they did not pursue after the sons of Jacob. So Jacob came to Luz, which is in the land of Canaan, that is, Bethel, he and all the people that were with him. And he built there an altar, and called the place El Bethel, because there God appeared unto him, when he fled from the face of his brother. But Deborah Rebekah's nurse died, and she was buried beneath Bethel under an oak, and the name of it was called Alan Barketh. And God appeared unto Jacob again, when he came out of Padanaram, and blessed him. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob. Thy name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty. Be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee. And kings shall come out of thy loins. And the land which I gave Abraham and Isaac, to thee I will give it, and to thy seed after thee will I give the land. And God went up from him in the place where he talked with him. And Jacob set up a pillar in the place where he talked with him, even a pillar of stone. And he poured a drink offering thereon, and he poured oil thereon. And Jacob called the name of the place where God spake with him, Bethel. And they journeyed from Bethel. And there was but a little way to come to Ephrath. And Rachel travelled, and she had hard labour. And it came to pass, when she was in hard labour, that the midwife said unto her, Fear not, thou shalt have this son also. And it came to pass, as her soul was in departing, for she died, that she called his name Benoni, but his father called him Benjamin. And Rachel died, and was buried in the way to Ephrath, which is Bethlehem. And Jacob set a pillow upon her grave, that is the pillar of Rachel's grave unto this day. And Israel journeyed, and spread his tent beyond the tower of Edar. And it came to pass, when Israel dwelt in that land, that Reuben went and lay with Bilhah his father's concubine, and Israel heard it. Now the sons of Jacob were twelve, the sons of Leah, Reuben, Jacob's firstborn, and Simeon, and Levi, and Judah, and Isaac, and Zebulun, the sons of Rachel, Joseph, and Benjamin, and the sons of Bilhah, Rachel's handmaid, Dan, and Naphtali, and the sons of Zilpah, Leah's handmaid, Gad, and Asher. These are the sons of Jacob, which were born to him in Padanaram. And Jacob came unto Isaac his father unto Mamre, unto the city of Arba, which is Hebron, where Abraham and Isaac sojourned. And the days of Isaac were an hundred and fourscore years. And Isaac gave up the ghost, and died, and was gathered unto his people, being old and full of days, and his sons Esau and Jacob buried him. Genesis, chapter 36. Now these are the generations of Esau, who is Edom. Esau took his wives of the daughters of Canaan, Adar the daughter of Elon the Hittite, and Aholabama the daughter of Anna the daughter of Zibion the Hivite, and Bashamath Ishmael's daughter, sister of Nabajoth. And Adar bare to Esau Eliphaz, and Bashamath bare Ruel, and Aholabama bare Jeush, and Jalam, and Korah. These are the sons of Esau, which were born unto him in the land of Canaan. And Esau took his wives, and his sons, and his daughters, and all the persons of his house, and his cattle, and all his beasts, and all his substance, which he had got in the land of Canaan, and went into the country from the face of his brother Jacob. For their riches were more than that they might dwell together, and the land wherein they were strangers could not bear them because of their cattle. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Sire, Esau is Edom, 
and these are the generations of Esau the father of the Edomites in Mount Sire. These are the names of Esau's sons, Eliphaz the son of Adar the wife of Esau, Ruel the son of Bashamath the wife of Esau. And the sons of Eliphaz were Teman, Omar, Zepho, and Gatam, and Kenaz. And Timna was concubine to Eliphaz Esau's son, and she bare to Eliphaz Amalek. These were the sons of Adar Esau's wife. And these are the sons of Ruel, Naath, and Zerah, Shammah, and Mizah. These were the sons of Bashamath Esau's wife. And these were the sons of Aholabama, the daughter of Anna, the daughter of Zibion, Esau's wife. And she bare to Esau Jeush, and Jalam, and Korah. These were dukes of the sons of Esau, the sons of Eliphaz the firstborn son of Esau, Duke Teman, Duke Omar, Duke Zepho, Duke Kenaz, Duke Korah, Duke Gatam, and Duke Amalek. These are the dukes that came of Eliphaz in the land of Edom. These were the sons of Adar. And these are the sons of Ruel Esau's son, Duke Naath, Duke Zerah, Duke Shammah, Duke Mizah. These are the dukes that came of Ruel in the land of Edom. These are the sons of Bashamath Esau's wife. And these are the sons of Aholabama Esau's wife, Duke Jeush, Duke Jalam, Duke Korah. These were the dukes that came of Aholabama the daughter of Anna, Esau's wife. These are the sons of Esau, who is Edom, and these are the dukes. These are the sons of Sire the Harite, who inhabited the land, Lotan, and Shobal, and Zibion, and Anna, and Dison, and Ezra, and Dishon. These are the dukes of the Harites, the children of Sire in the land of Edom. And the children of Lotan were Hori and Hemam, and Lotan's sister was Timna. And the children of Shobal were these, Alvan, and Manahath, and Abal, Shepho, and Onam. And these are the children of Zibion, both Arja and Anna. This was that Anna that found the mules in the wilderness, as he fed the asses of Zibion his father. And the children of Anna were these, Dison, and Aholabama the daughter of Anna. And these are the children of Dison, Hemdan, and Eshban, and Athran, and Cheron. The children of Ezra are these, Bilan, and Zarvan, and Akan. The children of Dishon are these, Uzed, and Aaron. These are the dukes that came of the Harites, Duke Lotan, Duke Shobal, Duke Zibion, Duke Anna, Duke Dison, Duke Ezra, Duke Dishon. These are the dukes that came of Hori, among the dukes in the land of Sire. And these are the kings that reigned in the land of Edom, before there reigned any king over the children of Israel. And Bela the son of Beor reigned in Edom, and the name of his city was Dinabar. And Bela died, and Jabab the son of Zerah of Bozrah reigned in his stead. And Jabab died, and Husham of the land of Tamani reigned in his stead. And Husham died, and Hadad the son of Bedad, who smote Midian in the field of Moab, reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Abath. And Hadad died, and Samlah of Masrika reigned in his stead. And Samlah died, and Saul of Rehoboth by the river reigned in his stead. And Saul died, and Balanan the son of Akbor reigned in his stead. And Balanan the son of Akbor died, and Hadar reigned in his stead, and the name of his city was Pal, and his wife's name was Mahetabel, the daughter of Matred, the daughter of Mezahab. And these are the names of the dukes that came of Esau, according to their families, after their places, by their names, Duke Timna, Duke Alva, Duke Jetheth, Duke Aholabama, Duke Ella, Duke Pinon, Duke Kenaz, Duke Teman, Duke Mibzar, Duke Magdiel, Duke Iram. These be the dukes of Edom, according to their habitations in the land of their possession. He is Esau the father of the Edomites. Genesis, chapter 37, And Jacob dwelt in the land wherein his father was a stranger, in the land of Canaan. These are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being seventeen years old, was feeding the flock with his brethren, and the lad was with the sons of Bilhar, and with the sons of Zilpah, his father's wives, and Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. Now Israel loved Joseph more than all his children, because he was the son of his old age, and he made him a coat of many colors. And when his brethren saw that their father loved him more than all his brethren, they hated him, 
and could not speak peaceably unto him. And Joseph dreamed a dream, and he told it his brethren, and they hated him yet the more. And he said unto them, Here, I pray you, this dream which I have dreamed. For, behold, we were binding sheaves in the field, and, lo, my sheaf arose, and also stood upright, and, behold, your sheaves stood round about, and made obeisance to my sheaf. And his brethren said to him, Shalt thou indeed reign over us? Or shalt thou indeed have dominion over us? And they hated him yet the more for his dreams, and for his words. And he dreamed yet another dream, and told it his brethren, and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more, and, behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. And he told it to his father, and to his brethren. And his father rebuked him, and said unto him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I and thy mother and thy brethren indeed come to bow down ourselves to thee to the earth? And his brethren envied him, but his father observed the saying. And his brethren went to feed their father's flock in Shechem. And Israel said unto Joseph, Do not thy brethren feed the flock in Shechem? Come, and I will send thee unto them. And he said to him, Here am I. And he said to him, Go, I pray thee, see whether it be well with thy brethren, and well with the flocks, and bring me word again. So he sent him out of the vale of Hebron, and he came to Shechem. And a certain man found him, and, behold, he was wandering in the field. And the man asked him, saying, What seekest thou? And he said, I seek my brethren, tell me, I pray thee, where they feed their flocks. And the man said, They are departed hence, for I heard them say, Let us go to Dotham. And Joseph went after his brethren, and found them in Dothan. And when they saw him afar off, even before he came near unto them, they conspired against him to slay him. And they said one to another, Behold, this dreamer cometh. Come now therefore, and let us slay him, and cast him into some pit, and we will say, Some evil beast hath devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. And Reuben heard it, and he delivered him out of their hands, and said, Let us not kill him. And Reuben said unto them, Shed no blood, but cast him into this pit that is in the wilderness, and lay no hand upon him, that he might rid him out of their hands, to deliver him to his father again. And it came to pass, when Joseph was come unto his brethren, that they stripped Joseph out of his coat, his coat of many colors that was on him, and they took him, and cast him into a pit, and the pit was empty, there was no water in it. And they sat down to eat bread, and they lifted up their eyes and looked, and, behold, a company of Ishmaelites came from Gilead with their camels bearing spicery and balm and myrrh, going to carry it down to Egypt. And Judah said unto his brethren, What profit is it if we slay our brother, and conceal his blood? Come, and let us sell him to the Ishmaelites, and let not our hand be upon him, for he is our brother and our flesh. And his brethren were content. Then there passed by Midianites merchantmen, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit, and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for twenty pieces of silver, and they brought Joseph into Egypt. And Reuben returned unto the pit, and, behold, Joseph was not in the pit, and he rent his clothes. And he returned unto his brethren, and said, The child is not, and I, whither shall I go? And they took Joseph's coat, and killed a kid of the goats, and dipped the coat in the blood. And they sent the coat of many colors, and they brought it to their father, and said, This have we found. Know now whether it be thy son's coat or no. And he knew it, and said, It is my son's coat, an evil beast hath devoured him. Joseph is without doubt rent in pieces. And Jacob rent his clothes, and put sackcloth upon his loins, and mourned for his son many days. And all his sons and all his daughters rose up to comfort him, but he refused to be comforted, and he said, For I will go down into the grave unto my son mourning. Thus his father wept for him, and the Midianites sold him into Egypt unto Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh's, and captain of the guard. Thank you, for joining us on day 12 of our 365-day journey in the Bible Challenge 365 series. 
We're excited to have you with us as we explore the scriptures together over the course of a year. If you enjoyed today's episode, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Your support keeps this journey going, and we can't wait to share more with you in the coming days. So, let's continue to learn, grow, and be inspired as we delve deeper into the Bible Challenge 365 series together. And stay safe and stay blessed, and God bless.